The Bitcoin price has been between 6K and 10K for pretty much the last year. It's had moments where it went slightly above 10K and moments where it dipped slightly below 6K. But the question is, how are people making money in this market with the price so stagnant? Well, the answer is simple. People know how to take advantage of the current environment. And today, I'm going to show you how you can do that as well. Let's get it. Hello and welcome to BitBoy Crypto, your one-stop shop for all things related to Bitcoin and cryptocurrency. I make videos on this channel almost every single day. If you like what you hear or see, then please make sure to hit that subscribe button and click the bell to turn on notifications. If you would like to take the conversation further, then please make sure to join my Telegram groups, the BitSquad for Crypto Chat or BitSquad Traders to discuss trading strategies. All right, guys, today we are going to be taking a look at how people can make money, whether the market is going up or down. Crypto offers you the opportunity to make money all the time. And today we're going to be taking a look at the top tricks and tools that I use to crush the market year round. Crypto investing is basically a game. Really investing in general is a game. You need to know when to jump in and when to jump out of prices just like a game of Frogger. Buy low and sell high is always a target. Now, as a person who's been around the crypto game for some time, I've learned a lot of different methods that have helped me to beat the game. Now, the number one thing I've seen people say as to why they sit outside of the markets and just hodl is that they say they don't have time or energy to learn how to trade. Really and truly, the term hodl came from an investor who just said that he was not a great trader, so he wanted to just hold his Bitcoin. However, he made a typo and the term hodl stuck. Now look, if you want to hodl, be my guest. Hodling has always been a strategy that allows people to make money over a long period of time. It is a winning strategy for sure. But all of the money from hodling is usually made over a very short period of time during a bull run. And we're talking about about six months every four years. The problem with hodling though, is that if you don't know how to get out of your Bitcoin position at the top of the market, then guess what you're gonna do? You're gonna make a bunch of money only to watch it circle down the drain after the peak. To me, hodling is a lazy strategy. Shouldn't you try to put yourself in the best position at all times? We're talking about investments that you could one day retire on. Shouldn't you try to maximize those investments? In my opinion, it's very important to learn how to trade even if you don't plan on being a professional trader. There are moments when you are going to need to know how to get out of trades, even if you hodl. Now, if you want to invest in all coins, you need to know how to get in after the price drops in order to get a good price or else you will FOMO in just like everyone else. You see, the market makes moves based on what you, the retail investor, are going to do. Whales understand that retail investors are going to buy the top and sell the bottom. That's what they're counting on. Now you could buy a bunch of technical analysis courses and books and spend years and countless dollars trying to learn how to spot patterns and trends. Or you can just take a huge shortcut, which is to take advantage of people who have studied and learned TA for years themselves. Anytime you can leverage what other people already know, you're going to save time, effort, and energy. Look, I'm busy. I don't have time to spend years learning how to chart and about every possible formation that can occur. This is why I use trading indicators to help me trade. Today, we're gonna to be taking a look at the two main ones I'm using right now. Now, I've used other indicators and will continue to use more in the future, but these two have done well for me recently. I'm going to be showing you what they are and how to use indicators on TradingView. Then I'm going to be showing you another tool that I use to help me find the bottoms of different altcoins. So I do want to clarify here that these indicators and research sites will work for you whether or not you want to swing trade, spot trade, scalp, or even leverage trade. I think some people think making high risk leverage trades is the only way to trade, but that's simply not true. If you are interested in using these indicators to leverage trade, then you can do that at Bybit. You can get up to $90 for free by visiting bybit.bitboy.live. You can trade up to 100X there, but I never advise going over 25X. So first and foremost, to use indicators, you must have an account at TradingView. If you want to get an account there, you can visit tradingview.bitboy.live. An account there is free, by the way, so you have no reason not to get one. 
Once you have an account, to use an indicator, all you need to do is add it to your scripts here. Indicators you can buy, such as the ones we'll look at today, are called invite-only scripts. When you purchase an indicator from someone, you'll provide them with your TradingView account name, and then they're gonna invite you to be able to use that script. Once they do that, your scripts will appear in the invite-only section. You can add the indicator to any chart that you want. Here, I have the Bybit Perpetual BTC contracts pulled up. Today, we're gonna to be discussing the indicators Profit Sniper and FOMO Trader. I'm gonna tell you how I use each one and what they look like. As you can see, I have Market Cipher also on my list of scripts. I'll be doing a separate video on Market Cipher in the near future, so you guys make sure to look out for that. The two indicators we're gonna look at today both work for leverage and regular spot trading. But remember, with either indicator, if you are gonna use leverage, then please make sure to use proper risk management and stop losses. It's a must. So let's check out Profit Sniper. All right, so let's turn on Profit Sniper by hitting the eyeball arrow here. So Profit Sniper is an indicator that's gonna tell you when to long or buy the market or when to short, AKA sell the market. Now you can see here on the chart that it's deadly accurate. When it says go long, the price goes up. When it says sell, the price goes down. Now no indicator is ever gonna work 100%, but if you can win over 50% of the time, you're going to be a winning trader and make money. If you wanna give Profit Sniper a try, you can get it for 0.1 BTC if you use the code BitBoy for the rest of the month only, you can get the Profit Sniper script, the Cat Trading Bot, and access to their premium Discord server, which helps a lot. The Cat Trading Bot allows you to be able to make money with a script trading in your sleep. Starting on May 1st, the price is gonna go up to 0.3 BTC, so your time to get it is running out. I know I said that on a previous video, but the creator, Keith Waring, extended the deal because there was so much interest from my community from the Bit Squad. So I'll drop the link to Profit Sniper down below and make sure to use the code to get the deal. Now, if you wanna come out a little bit cheaper, you can get the FOMO Trender bot for half the price at 0.05 BTC. FOMO Trender will help you predict market moves precisely on the one hour and four hour charts as seen here. If you don't want to make trading a full-time job, then FOMO Trender may be for you. With FOMO Trender, you can make big power trades on large time frames. Now, you won't make nearly as many trades with FOMO Trender as you would with Profit Sniper on smaller time frames, but you can load up more per trade and still crush the market. Now, I'll drop the link down below for FOMO Trender along with my code BITSQUAD that will help you purchase it for 0.05 BTC instead of 0.1 BTC, so 50% off. The beautiful thing about either one of these indicators is that they basically do the work for you. They tell you what moves to make and when to make them. This is the power of an indicator that plainly spells out what you're supposed to do and it's great for newer traders. The third tool that I'm using to make altcoin picks is token metrics. The cool thing about token metrics is that it comes with a totally free 14 day trial. If you like it and find it useful, then you can keep the service. If you don't think that it works for you, then simply cancel after the 14 day trial. But token metrics ranks altcoins based on a number of metrics. But not only that, it also shows you prediction models based on machine learning AI that helps you make solid altcoin investments. Each coin also gets graded on a scale from bearish to bullish. So what I'm personally looking for to invest are coins that are bearish right now and I try to catch those coins as soon as they turn bullish. That way, I'm not investing in a coin that is in on a downtrend. If you wanna check out token metrics, you can use the link tm.bitboy.live. Now, these are the three tools I'm using right now to crush the market. If you join my BitSquad Traders Telegram group, then I posted a ton of the big trades there so you can verify that these are big wins and I'm really using these tools. But now it's your turn. If you have some tools you like, make sure to drop those down below in the comment section. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to smash the like button and hit subscribe to become a member of the fastest growing community in crypto, the BitSquad. Thank you so much for watching. Have a blessed day. The boy out.